Is your garden looking a bit flat or just needs some more colour and vertical interest? Well, climbing or pole beans are just the answer. Hi, I'm Ben Van Heems and in this video we're going to look at not one, not two, but five ways to support this must-grow vegetable. Let's start with the classic bean teepee. This old favourite makes for a space-efficient, standalone way to support beans and other climbing crops for that matter. The teepee's shape makes it less prone to being damaged by the wind and I think you'll agree it's got good looks by the harvest trugfall. Setting one up is easy, you just need three or more long bamboo canes or any other long straight sticks like uh, hazel would be good. I'm wrapping the string several times around the canes like this, leaving just a little bit of slack so the canes will be able to move apart when I come to space them out. With that done, I'm going to feed the string through the middle of the canes like this and then back around a few times as well. And what this does is help to anchor it all into place so the level of the string doesn't slide about on the canes. And then just simply tie it off. Now I've tied it off, it's time to lift them up into position and start working around the canes, one cane at a time to evenly splay them out. It's a bit of a fiddle, but you know, it's worth it to get it nice and tidy at this point. That seems about right. Okay, so once you're happy, just simply push each cane firmly into the ground working opposite canes like this to get a nice even kind of effect. Job done I think. Now this is optional but I like to add a couple of runs of string horizontally all the way around the teepee. This not only makes the teepee more rigid but it also gives the beans something to grip hold of as they find their way up. And the only thing left to do now is plant it up. One bean per cane. If you don't fancy creating and dismantling a teepee every season, you could always purchase ready-made teepees or obelisks that simply push in and lift out in one go. Another very common way to support beans is with an A-frame supported at the ridge by a horizontal cane or pole. Push the canes into the ground at an angle so they meet at the top, then push your ridge cane into position before securely tying each pair of canes to the ridge cane with string or garden twine. For extra rigidity, push and tie in another cane at each end of the frame to help anchor it into place. This is especially recommended for windier sites when the fully grown vines can act as a sail and tug at the frame. A-frame supports are a great way to grow lots of beans in narrow beds. In hot weather, they will cast welcome shade for cool season crops like lettuce. And they make for a fantastically lush and leafy backdrop or screen. Similar to the A-frame is this V-frame, where the canes instead lean out from each other. This ensures the bean pods dangle down, making them easier to find and pick. Airflow is also improved and the vines don't cluster together at the top. This little known alternative to the more traditional A-frame is really eye-catching and it isn't that difficult to make. The tops of the canes are tied to a frame that holds them in place. In this example, the top part of the frame is approximately 3 by 5 feet or 90 by 150 centimetres and is supported by uprights that give at least 6 feet or 1.8 metres clearance once pushed into the ground. The sections of frame are screwed together before the frame is dug into position, then thoroughly firmed in to support the extra weight. Six evenly spaced canes are tied to each side of the frame and one bean is planted at each. 
If you'd like to try this V-frame in your own garden, then I'll pop a playlist on at the end, which includes a video with full step-by-step -step instructions of how to make one. Perhaps you don't have room for a double row of beans, or you just want to brighten up a bare wall or fence on a patio, for example. In this situation, you can't beat a panel or two of trellising, secured directly to the wall or onto supporting uprights as here. Locate your trellis on the sunny side of a wall or fence for the best crops. Trellis can be freestanding as well, and you can get creative with what you use. Wire mesh or cattle panels are a long-lasting option, attached to upright posts or set into a frame for a tidier finish. You could even make your own trellis panels using long stems such as dogwood, willow or hazel. For a beautiful way to grow beans as an attractive feature in their own right, why not train them up and overhead? This archway was featured in a recent video, which I'll include at the playlist at the end. It's made up of this galvanized mesh, which is about four inches or 10 centimeters squares. This is attached to these upright galvanized posts, and there are six of these, three on each side. Now you could use flexible mesh panels instead, of course. I've tied them in at regular intervals using zip ties, which I trimmed off to give a neat finish. When measuring out and positioning the mesh, bear in mind that the beans will be dangling down. So if you want to walk through the arch, take that into your calculations. I think you'll agree, looking at this, that it's a really stunning feature. And I'm really excited because this year, I'm going to be planting some beautifully speckled Borlotti beans, and I just can't wait. So watch this space. With these different methods of supporting your beans at your disposal, there's every reason to grow this prolific cropper. Which method do you prefer? Drop me a comment below to tell me. And for more bean-themed goodness, check out this playlist. I'll catch you next time.